Good afternoon, welcome to Market Wrap number 223. Stuart Williamson here at the helm. Now this week, some exciting stuff. How your rent could change drastically. We've got a report here on what's going to be affecting your rent and what is likely to happen in the UK. But first, we're going to cover a number of the issues. Firstly, interest rates kept at 5% uh, this week. Not a great surprise, although quite a surprise, bearing in mind that the Fed cut by 0.5%. Uh, it does mean that the next change will probably be in November, most analysts are expecting that to occur. Why didn't it occur? I think t to a certain extent because of the costs are still going up and so inflation is still doggedly above 2%, which is obviously the target for uh, the government, the Bank of England to get, get below. So interest rates haven't been cut, but the sentiment is they will get cut in November. And so the market is still very positive and people are being very positive about buying properties. And secondly, more exciting news is that the Welsh government, and I'm gonna mention this because we have a lot of Welsh people to work with us in the company. The Welsh government are considering a 25% income tax cut to prevent brain drain, which has been occurring, which is obviously most of our people coming over to work with us. That is the Welsh brain drain. But that's an interesting concept, cut interest rates. And because it is devolvement of, of a lot of powers to the different regions, these sort of things are going to start popping up, which is very interesting. But anyway, back to the point. Okay, a couple of questions from last week. One listener wrote in, will the reduction in rental properties in London be replicated in similar cities such as Edinburgh, another city with very high rents, low stock and high prices? Yes, it is. Uh, the problem with Edinburgh is because they're saying one thing, but actually doing another. Like they're allowing tenements to be, when well, I've mentioned this before at the market wrap, tenements of 40, 80, 120 properties to be bulldozed and, and they're being replaced by luxury flats of 10 20 30 so the the actual uh, supply is, is is dwindling there so it will continue and also they said they're going to build less houses in that location less properties they're trying to get people to move out of glasgow edinburgh into the surrounding suburbs so yes it will continue the same as it is doing in london the second question we had in was um, how do you study pies in an area i don't think we're talking about meat pies here I think we're talking about uh, population, infrastructure and employment growth, which we use as one of our, our calculators to see how, how things are going. He says, or I say it's a he or she, I'm a first time buyer and it feels like the harder I look into what is the best investment for me, the more confusing it gets. For example, the ONS published an interactive map showing population and employment change, but it doesn't actually say in the period of combined time. Comparing areas with my buying radius, employment increase can be as high as 47% which seems ridiculous, but it doesn't say since when. What is it, 11 AD? I'd love to know how you collect and compare data to judge pies in an area. Any advice would make a huge difference to me at the moment. Well, we basically subscribe to all the major research houses. Uh, you can go online and do it yourself. This is uh, Zoopla, the rental report. Um, we do Savills. They do a great residential market uh, forecast. We also use people like JLL, CBRE, Night Frank, we've got a fantastic Intelligence Labs uh, podcast, which is well worth listening to. And if you want to really get into it, then people like propertydata.co.uk, you can subscribe to that. I think you get a few free ones and they will let you in and tell you all the information you need as far as pies are concerned. So that would be the sort of research I would do. And it certainly is what I do. So, right, the first report we're going to look at is Zoopla, uh, the rental market report. Sorry, no, um, right move. Surge in large, ha large homes for sale. Over the past week, there was a 15% increase in the number of large homes, five bedrooms plus, and four bed detached, listed for sale on right move compared to the same period last year. This is particularly re relevant in the popular coastal and countryside areas. Now, the highlights are in the southeast of England is up by 21%, in the southwest by 20%, northwest and west middle 19, and northeast by 16%. Now, what are the drivers? I think a lot of this still goes back to uh, COVID. You know, people went out to the country and they bought stuff. And he thought, this is it, I'm going to live the life of Riley. Uh, I'm recording this as we speak in Australia. You know, I've got a, a lovely office that I've built in the garden. And in reality, I don't really have to go out. I've got everything here in the, in the property. But boy, is it boring. And I think that's what people are finding, is that the country is okay during the summer, but in the winter, boy, is it wet, it's damp, and it is boring. So back into the cities for them. But also they're saying, uh, right move, they're saying, that's my only penny. Right moves are saying lower mortgage rates, average five year fixed rates for, for buyers of the 40% deposit, which are the larger house owners, are down to 3.97%, down upon 5.27. Potential 
tax changes. People are worried about Angela Raines is it, and her uh, capital gains tax grab. All these things they weren't going to do beforehand. So people are thinking about selling because of that. Market trends following a period of high activity in a smaller city centre. Mass market homes. The focus has shift, shifted back to high-end stuff. Tim Bannister, who's a property expert there at uh, Right Move, says the high-end market is currently more active due to improved mortgage rates and potential tax changes. Now, what about your rental growth? If you've got a property, what's happening to it? Rental inflation in the UK has slowed to 5.4%, the lowest rate for almost three years. However, there's a lot of different trends at play in different markets across the UK. So look at each individual one if you can. Okay, it's down from 10.2% to 5.4%. However, London's seeing only a 2.5% increase, whereas towns and rural areas are seeing a 10% increase. So London is skewing the figures. Supply and demand is an 18% increase in rental properties available compared to last year. But that stock is still 24% below pre-pandemic levels. Landlord sales are the highest they've been since records started. And again, why is this? Is it because the market's shot? No, it's because a lot of landlords are my sort of age who have bought the properties over the years to create themselves an income. They've gone up enough, they've been baby boomed and they made the money and now they want to sell them, which is fine. That's what they're doing. It's not because the market is not good. The market is good with the immigration going on, with the levelling up agenda, with pies in the Midlands and North. You can still make a great cap appreciation. According to JLL, look at the research, 25% over the next five years, 20% rental growth, they're saying. Future outlook is rental increases are expected to go up by 3 to 4% in 2024, whilst supply constraints and high demand will continue that growth into the the mid to latter part of the decade. Richard O'Donnell, who's the expert insight we have, who's director of research, highlights that while rental inflation is cooling off from its peak, affordability constraints and low supply are likely to keep rents elevated. That's Richard O'Donnell, Zupa specialist. So there we have it. More large homes for sale. Don't leave Wales because you might well get a tax break. The Fed has, has cut rates, but the Bank of England has kept those and it'll probably keep them until November. Rental inflation is still high in many cities outside of London. There we are, that's it for this week, Market Wrap 233. Hope you enjoyed it, do take care, and um, do put some questions in like the people did today. Lovely, and uh, take care, all the best. Cheerio.